people with albinism in Tanzania, we are now facing killings. We are being hunted, people need our body parts. They say when they get our body parts, they'll be rich, they'll get wealth through our body parts, our hairs. They say that when they get our bones, when they go to the area where there is gold, they get a lot of gold. When they go to the fishing area, they get a lot of fish. That's their belief. I don't know if it's true, Myself, I don't believe, but I think they believe because they continue with the killings. They continue with the killings. Before starting school, I was young, at home, playing with other children. They teased me. Some, some other pinched me. I cried back to my mother. Discrimination is still there for people with albinism. In December, 27th, if I'm not wrong. The girl called Pendo. Pendo was attacked and they took Pendo. I don't know where they've taken her. Till today, we don't know where Pendo is. Four years old. They've kidnapped from her mother. But I'm sure they have already killed her. They've taken what they need in the body and they've maybe they've thrown her or they've buried because Pendo has not yet been found till today. In February, another boy, Johanna, Johanna Bahati, one and six months. They attacked Johanna from her mother. After uh, the second day, the body was found, but without legs, without hands. They've already chopped them off. Let me take off my tears. I'm thinking of those two girls. My tears are coming out. It was difficult to find someone willing to take us to the albinos because many of them live in secret. Their lives are a constant battle to evade the human hunters. Eventually, I was put in contact with Miss Happiness, an albino herself, so that she could take us to the villages to meet the albino children and their families in their homes. We had to be careful not to be followed, and we were instructed not to tell anyone about the project. What we found changed us forever in every way possible. All this killing of albinos, there is the impact of witch doctors. They says they are seeing it is the impact killing albinos. Some of them they are, they believe themselves that if they kill albinos and take the part of the albinos body, for example, hand, then they are taking them to the witch doctors. Then they believe when they take there, they are going to become witches. As well as in this year, they are going to stay for the general election. Yeah. They, are, they believe that if they get albinos, some of them they are going to get good posts in the government as presidents, prime ministers. So the government, they are government officials yeah, that are believing of, that. We, we don't know who are they. Yeah, you don't know. Who. Yeah, we don't know who are they, but we wonder near the election. The why? Yeah, why? 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 Uh, every time near the, the election. But there's an election this year. Yeah. yeah. This year. Yeah. When you walk in the streets, do people say things to you? Do they ever call you names or? Sometimes yes, but not that much. Does it make you scared or just you ignore? It? Because I appreciate myself, I just not to care. That's a good answer. Yeah. That's a very good answer. Wherever I go anywhere, I must have someone with me. I fear for my life. That's how it is for all people with albinism. They fear for their life. And that's why there are schools in Shinyanga region, there is Tanga region, Mwanza region. There are schools where people, the children with albinism, are being sent by their parents there. I, I call it dumping place. They dump them because they never come back. The children can't stay there without love of their parents. 
They must be taken by their parents. It's terrible. Wherever you go there yourself, you'll cry. It's terrible. Terrible. For them to stay there. It's terrible. Well, they are saying that people with albinism never die. They disappear. Which was not true. They were being killed after birth. But they were killed because in those lake regions, wherever, they feel that having a child with albinism, it's a curse. So therefore they kill them. The first thing which is needed is awareness, education. All those regions, are uh, lake regions and the regions nearby, education must go there deep down to know who are people with albinism? Why are they white? We are white because we don't have melanin. But we are human beings. It's a genetic condition. They are needed to be informed. They don't know. If they know, they'll be friends with us. We'll be familiar with them. We'll be they won't kill us. They think we are ghosts. That's what they say. You people are ghosts. You are not human beings. It's for those people with albinism who are living very far in the villages, they must be removed to the area where there is a people around because they are staying very far. The attackers are coming, they do whatever they do, and they run away. No one knows till late. But if people stay in the area of rural areas where there are people around, those attackers can't come. They can't do the killings around there easily. People think that where we are born, we have these scars, or maybe or we are pinching our eyes, or the, the teeth are coming out. It's not there. They don't need to be like that because of sun. Sun is the problem. That's why they look like that, their faces. That's, that's not how they were born. When you see an albino baby, very beautiful baby, Albinos are beautiful like any other people. Fear, feel bad even at sleeping time. Because once you hear someone knock the, the door, they feel, ah, maybe she want to, he, he, they want to take Sophia. So the, the, the families who, who have the, the Albinos, this time it is very bad time for them. We are living like, you know what, animals, small animals in the, the forest. Uh, we were just waiting. Maybe the the lion will once the lion will pass, the end of my life. A little bit like that. I have hope, and I'll fight for them. I hope one day, the killings will stop. We are human beings, like any other people. We are human beings.